proof of it. Now I'll give some example. After that, I think like uh, you'll understand the holder and holder in due course. I'll uh, give some example now. Hmm? Uh, what is your name, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now. Uh, In a mouse is very difficult. Is it right? Saif, you are spelling? Saif. Uh, yes, sir, it's correct. Okay, Saif. Saif. Gave a check. Let we take an example of any instrument we can take. Uh, Saif gave an instrument. Uh, uh, to his friend. Uh, so, what's your friend name, uh, Saif? You have any pet names? Uh, sir, Rohit, sir. Rohit. Okay, Saif. Saif and Rohit are the best friends. And now Saif thought of uh, giving some gift on a particular occasion to Rohit. So now let uh, Saif decided to give a uh, Rohit uh, a check as a gift. Check as a gift. Gift. So how much you want to give Saif? Uh, sir, uh, you don't want uh, to give no. any check. <laughs> uh. Let uh, I, don't I, I don't know. Okay, so he want to give the ten thousand rupees. Let ten thousand rupees through check. Correct. Now, who is the holder of the instrument now? Or pay of the instrument? Who is the holder of the instrument? Who holds the instrument now? Saif. Saif. Is it Saif or Rohit? Saif is already handed over the instrument to Rohit as a gift. Rohit, sir. Sir, the Rohit is the holder? Yes, sir. Rohit is the holder of the instrument. Correct? Now, whether Rohit can transfer the instrument? What Rohit did, uh, Rohit is a businessman. Rohit is a businessman. And uh, there is some transaction between uh, uh, Rohit and uh, Vineet. Vineet, by doing an endorsement, what Rohit do? Rohit will sign uh, this instrument and he'll hand over this instrument to Vineet. Because there is a mutual transaction between the Vinit and Rohit. Rohit. Uh, here, is there any consideration between Saif and Rohit here? Is there any consideration between Rohit and uh, Saif? There is no consideration, it is just a gift. There is no something in return, right? It is just a gift. There is no consideration at all. So, no consideration. There is no consideration between Rohit and Sai. Just it is a gift. But whether there is a consideration between Rohit and Vinit? Yes, Rohit sir. and Vinit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a consideration. Now, Rohit is a holder of the instrument, Vinit is a holder in due course. Whoever receives the instrument for some consideration and for value, value, he becomes a holder in due course. Holder in due course. So, one condition, anybody who receives the instrument for some consideration, so he becomes the holder in due course. 
he is not only a holder but also a holder in due course some privileges is available that we'll discuss later so this is a very very simple example i give so somebody if he or she receives the instrument is for some consideration consideration so he becomes a holder in due course you see whenever uh, there is a uh, negotiable instrument dishonor case or check bonds case uh, one of the presumptions what law presumes is uh, whether there is a consideration or not or there is a consideration that's it because uh, in case if you want to prove the case before the court of law you should prove that uh, so there is a consideration there is a consideration between the two parties because see when whether rohit can come, can file a case against saif in order to claim this gift money whether rohit can file a case against saif he cannot because there is no consideration from uh, other party I mean, rohit to saif there is no mutual consideration so that's what uh, so one of the one essential element uh, to be a holder in due course that is there must be a consideration between a two parties two parties and one more uh, uh, qualification to become a holder in due course uh, that is uh, the a person might have received the instrument uh, in a very good faith good faith without knowing the defect in an instrument if a person whoever it may be who receives the instrument in a good faith uh, so he becomes a holder in due course what do you mean by this good faith what do you mean by this good faith one more example we'll take one more example we'll take hope you understood uh, the first example for the consideration a person a vinith is a holder in due course he is not only a holder but also holder in due course whether rohit is a holder in due course whether rohit is a holder in due course no sir no rohit is not a holder in due course because there is no consideration there is a complete absence of consideration now we'll take an example for the good faith good faith okay now one more example will okay one more example um okay the parties will take now a writes a instrument in favor of b b now b lost the instrument and c found it c found it correct c found it now c a transfer this instrument to d d d innocently he accepted the instrument uh, in a very good faith there is a consideration between the two parties c and d and c intelligently he endorsed the instrument in favor of d d now d transfer the instrument to e because there is some consideration between d and e now when you take an example of c d and e who is the holder and who is the holder in due course tell me d is holder d is a holder he is not a holder in due course no sir okay what about e he is holder in due course what about c Yes, so no consideration whether the c is a holder of the instrument or holder in due course holder c is a 
holder of the instrument both d and e is a holder in due course because as i already said uh, d receives the instrument uh, without knowing the defect in a title of the instrument what was the defect in a title of the instrument because uh, the instrument is in the hands of c is a lost instrument lost instrument so what does it mean the instrument is in the hands of c it has some defects right what is the defect what is the defect defect is it's a lost instrument he found the instrument that's it and intelligently he transferred the instrument to d now innocently and in a good faith he received the instrument even like e e doesn't know whether uh, somewhere during the transit it has a defect e the, he may not know and even like d may not know whether uh, this instrument is uh, some defect now both the d and e is a holder in due course c is just a holder of the instrument that's it whether he legally is entitled to claim it or not it depends on the type of the instrument whether the bar instrument or odd instrument however d and e is a holder in due course now question what exactly the remedy what exactly the remedy now whether c can file a case against b tell me whether c can file a case against b to recover the amount no sir no sir he cannot why he cannot why he cannot he just found it he just he found it he is not a true owner of a legal owner of uh, the instrument instrument now question comes uh, what about a legal remedy to d and e d can he file a case against e c yes sir yes, yes sir okay right can he file a case against b no sir no sir no can he file no. a case against a all prior parties no my answer is my answer is d since he is a holder in due course he can file a suit not only against the immediate party but against all prior parties all prior parties that's what one of the privilege available to the holder in due course see if he is a holder in due course not only he can file a case against the immediate party but also all the prior parties liable to holder in due course but of course uh, being a holder of the instrument uh, c cannot file a case against uh, the other party just to bring a suit against but uh, holder in due course can file a suit even not only d but also e can also file a suit against uh, the d c b a so this is how it works uh, one thing i said uh, so a person must receive the instrument uh, for the consideration then he becomes a holder in due course and one more thing i said uh, the instrument he might have received the instrument in a good faith without without knowing any defect in a title of the instrument title of the instrument one more example i can give for the uh, defect in a title of the instrument i'll i'll say like so what exactly uh, the typical situations in which uh, so these are all uh, the occasion will arise i mean uh, the holder in due course and holder so one more thing i'll ex explain see this is what the importance of noting and protest each and everything is linked is linked now now see i'll take a very simple example of uh, uh, whether you want example of a bills of exchange or a promissory note is it okay if i give an example of uh, the bills of exchange Yes, sir. Okay, so bills of exchange will give a party called a drawer, drawee, and pay of the instrument. Hmm. Now, what is the due date? The due date is twenty sixth of November. The due date. Now, what is the duty of? Uh, uh the pay here or see here after since the due date is 26 november 
so he may approach uh, the, on the due date and he can ask for the payment so now on 27th or 26th he approaches uh, the drawy boss so you please make a payment because you signed and you said uh, you are giving like uh, uh, the 10000 rupees to me on 26th november now you please give so because due date comes of course there is a the grace period that we'll discuss later now just for your understanding the so due date is 26th november now options i said so b may accept or b may reject so b now question comes uh, b refused to make this 10000 rupees he said uh, he dishonored the instrument he dishonored the instrument he refused to make a payment now now what in an intelligent way c may do whether this instrument is in the hands of wills of exchange is in the hands of c is some defect now whether it has some defect it has some defect what is the defect when due date time when he surrenders this instrument to b so now he is refusing to make a payment so intelligently what c did through by doing an endorsement he transferred the instrument to d d but without knowing this defect uh, defect d accepted the instrument instrument in a good faith now d becomes a holder in due course because he received the instrument in a good faith good faith so some more point uh, i'll discuss uh, on like difference between a holder and holder in due course please keep it in mind uh, the all the holder in due course is a holder of the instrument but all the holder of the instrument is not necessarily be a holder in due course so rest of the things will explain it in a next class tomorrow's class